I went from this to this in just over nine months. Stick around to find out how. Hello everyone, semi-retired Bob here. I talk about the carnivore diet, all things related to the carnivore diet, and miscellaneous odds and ends. Today, we're going to talk about how and why I was wrong. I'm sorry I've made a mistake. I was completely wrong about something. And we're going to set the record straight on that today. But first, if you're new to the channel, let me welcome you. I'm glad you're here. I hope uh, you enjoy your stay here. Hopefully you find something interesting. And of course, you're probably wondering to yourself, Bob, what in the world am I watching here? Well, you're watching me walk. That's basically what we're doing, is you're watching me walk. I try to find some interesting things to talk about along the way, but the thing that makes this interesting is that a little over nine months ago, I couldn't do this. I could barely stand up for two to two and a half minutes without severe pain. And now I'm out here walking every day. I usually average between five and six miles. Depending on the weather, of course. As you can see, it's sunny and nice out today. It's almost 70. It's supposed to get up to 75 today and go over 80 tomorrow. I'll be okay with that. If you're returning to the channel, welcome back. I'm glad you're here. And of course, you know, as always, the main purpose of this channel is to show you that it's never too late to change your life. And we need to help spread the message out there about the carnivore diet and that it's never too late to change your life. So if you could do a quick little thing, hit the like button for me. Maybe drop down in the comments and say hello. Or if you have something to comment about later, of course, do that as well. But the more people comment and the more people hit the like button, the more likely it is that YouTube will show this video to a wider audience. And that's how we spread the word. If you'd like to subscribe, that'd be okay too. It does help the channel out. But, uh, yeah, getting the message out is the main point here, because, you know, whoever watches this video today, who knows who's going to watch it? Who knows who's going to watch it tomorrow? But if you all do your part, I make the videos, you guys watch the videos, and I do appreciate each and every one of you for watching my videos. But, uh, you know, hitting that like and dropping down in the comments and saying, hi, Bob. I mean, you can even go down in there and say I'm ugly today. Any interaction with the channel helps YouTube decide to push it out to more people. And that's really what we're after. But let's talk about what I was wrong about. What's the one thing that I always say the most? If it's working for you, there's no reason to change. What does Dr. Barry always say? What does he call this? The proper human diet. The, uh, I've been searching pretty much all month I've been thinking about this because I was trying to figure out you know, the last few videos of February, I wanted to talk about maintenance. And then it came to me last night. I don't know how I knew this four months ago, but got so sidetracked this month trying to think of stuff that I completely missed the mark and I was wrong. 
But the thing that triggered me thinking about this was, you know, I put out that uh, little cooking video that came out on Monday. You guys will see this on Wednesday. So a couple days ago now. But the general gist of those comments was, I can't believe how much you eat and how much weight you've lost while eating that much. And at the same time, while I was scrolling through YouTube, a Michaela Peterson video came up. And then I remembered. The carnivore diet is not a weight loss diet. It's a health optimization diet. For maintenance, after we get to our goal weight, we shouldn't really have to do anything different. You know, we might need to tweak a little something here and there along the way. We might decide we want to try and add some foods back in, but I've talked about that. But basically, everything you've been doing should keep you once your body attains its optimal weight, its optimal fat content, its optimal nutrition. Once your body's reached that state, the proper human diet will keep it there as well. So I'm sorry, I was wrong. You don't need anything special for maintenance. Just keep doing what you're doing. Now, of course, if this turns out to be wrong, I'll let you know when I get there. But I'm still a long way away. It's not that far away, but it's far enough. And I've been... You know, I've always said 160 pounds was sort of my goal. And we'll see where it goes. Because it's kind of interesting. Because I chose that because it was right in the middle of the, uh, the Army scale when I joined the Army. 160 was right in the middle of what my weight was supposed to be at my height. But now if you look at the at the BMI scale, I don't know the BMI scale is bad for individual use. It's more designed to give you an overview of what's going on in a larger population of people. But it's like 161 is the top end of normal for my height. 162 is still considered overweight. So we'll have to wait and see where it goes. I'm actually fairly happy with where I'm at now, but I do still have a couple rolls of fat around the middle and my thighs are a little bigger at the top than they are at the bottom. So I definitely have some places to lose a little more fat. So we'll see. But yeah, I'm sorry about that, guys. I got kind of sidetracked by my idea of making February how to start and maintain the carnivore diet series. And I don't think we actually need anything to maintain it. Just keep doing what you've been doing. But today's video is going to be just a little bit different. It's going to be a little bit of an extended music section. Because this is not my first trip around the parking lot today. Around the property. I got up this morning. I decided last night, since day two of a longer fast is always my hardest one. I decided to try and not only keep myself busy but wear myself out 
so that I'm basically too tired to think about food. So I got up this morning, sunrise was at 6.51 a.m. I got up at 6.30, got dressed, got ready to go. And of course, I have no windows in my little cargo trailer to see outside. I was all set up to go out. I was going to try and capture the sunrise and get the first of my walking in. And a couple minutes before I stepped out of the trailer, it started to rain. I thought, well, I'm up, I'm ready to go. It's not raining that hard. Let's go do some walking. So I did. Because it was raining, I did not film a lap out of that set, but I filmed a lap out of my second set. This is actually my third set of laps around the church already today. I'm already over the five mile mark for the day. We'll see how far I get. One of my objectives is to see if on day two of fasting, I can actually run myself out of energy by walking too far. I don't think I will, but we shall see. I'm gonna try and get the clips in order as I move forward, but uh, I can't say for sure they're gonna be in order, but I basically, what I did in the second set is I recorded one lap and then I turned the camera off and walked four more. First lap, I actually did six this morning. walking around the in the rain because it rained on me for the first two laps I felt pretty good because one of the things that I have to start doing is a little bit of walking in the rain because I'm going to get rained on if I go to do through hiking even you know a long weekend or something like that Odds are I'm going to get rained on. So I need to start adjusting to that. Oh. I sent emails to people that had responded. But just so everybody knows. I've postponed the February 25th walk with Bob Day. Because it's supposed to be super nice this whole week. But they keep lowering the high temperature for Saturday and increasing the chance of rain. So I've made the call now. I'm going to go ahead and postpone it. Try and come up with a an alternate date. I'll let you know as soon as I get that worked out. Because today's the... I think you guys are going to see this on like the 22nd. Maybe the 23rd. I, I've lost track of what day it is. So I'm just about a month left down here. Because there's a men's conference on the 24th, which is a Saturday. I'm going to have my trailer all hooked up and ready to go before the men's conference. I'm going to stay and go to church that weekend. And then I'm going to drive to Ohio because my sister on Tuesday is leaving to go to Florida to visit her mother-in-law. So I got to make sure I'm up there for that so I can look after mom. So I'm going to end up going home about a month earlier this year than last year. Last year I didn't get home 
I got home on May the 8th and started carnivore diet on May the 9th, the day before my 59th birthday. But, uh, I want to get home earlier this year because I'm going to save myself some money by cutting my own grass. <clears throat> and if I wait till early May to get home, I'll have to hack through knee-deep grass because after the first couple of rains, grass really shoots up. So I probably won't have to cut it more than twice in April, but just in case, it's one of those good growing seasons, I want to be there for it. So now for some prolonged music section, I'm going to run the replays, the replays of the laps really fast, so hopefully we don't go too far over. I'm still going to try and keep it within the normal time frame of one of my videos. 25 to 35 minutes is what I'm shooting for. So of course stick around to the end, I'll have some more thoughts on this. But for now let's cue the music.
Well, here we are back at the end of the video. I hope y'all enjoyed that. I did not get as far as I'd originally thought I was going to. Um, my knee started to hurt a little bit. Um, and I thought, well, gosh, what's going on? I'm not, you know, not even really getting close to that almost 15 miles I did the, the last time I did this. But then I remembered I used my trekking poles the last time. And today I did not. So I ended up getting about 12 and a half miles today without using trekking poles, which I think is a pretty good run. Um, my muscles never really got tired. My knee just started to hurt a little bit because I wasn't using my trekking poles to take the extra pressure off of it. But uh, that was a good that was a good little bit today. And I'll let you know in tomorrow's video how I how I feel. Um, but yeah, once again, I'm really sorry I forgot all about, you know, this being the proper human diet. And just keep doing what you're doing. You don't really need maintenance. You just need to keep eating. Um, obviously. But I am kind of tired now. I'm going to finish putting this video together. And I may go to bed early tonight because uh, I'm not going to eat today. I'm just going to watch a little TV and relax and... Hopefully, uh, I think I have actually the, the exercise and almost into the second day of, you know, missing a meal here. I was getting, you know, I, you, I could feel the chest congestion when I breathed in real deep. And that congestion pain has lessened significantly. So I think I'm on the right track here, but I'll let you know. Have a great day, everyone. Don't forget to get out there. Be 1% better today. I will see you tomorrow.